Hi, it's Dave T here in Wiltshire and today we're going to shoot a short video showing you everything you need to know about visiting the Crofton Beam Engines Pumping Station. According to their website, Crofton Pumping Station is one of the most important industrial heritage sites in the UK. So let's see what it's like to visit. Okay, so somewhat unusually, you don't actually pay until you take the tour, but if you want to walk around the general site, that's free. So let's take a look around for the next um, three quarters of an hour or so before the next tour starts and see what there is to see. Okay, so it's almost 12 o'clock, so we're going to go and take the guided tour around the engine shed. Welcome everybody to Crofton Beam Engines again. My name's Simon, I'm the visitor manager here, and I'm going to be leading your tour. So that was a really nice uh, meal in the cafe, very helpful staff. And uh, now we're just going to have a look at the canal, which is why the pumping station is here in the first place. Hi, I'm back in the car now after an enjoyable three hours at the museum and I was going to record this in the car park with the museum's huge brick chimney in the background but unfortunately there's what I believe the term is a murder of crows up in the trees just up there making a heck of a noise so I've retreated to the car. Incidentally the main site is actually accessible to the public without paying as are the toilets so you can get back to the car park at any time just in case that's important to you. I have to say this is a lovely place to visit with the tour itself being the real highlight. The tour takes about an hour and the guide that led us was really incredibly knowledgeable and gave fun and interesting explanations of exactly how the site works and its history. 
We visited on a non-steaming day, so the engines were not in action. It's worth bearing in mind that this is actually a real steam pump and Canon still is sometimes used to pump water up, up to the top of the canal system to top up the canal. Apparently when the uh, replacement um, modern electric pumps are not working for some reason, they do actually use the steam engines to uh, pump the water up and keep the canal topped up. But if you want to visit on a steaming day, then you need to check the website and they clearly mark out which days are steaming and which ones aren't. The food in the cafe was tasty, well presented and at a reasonable price served by really friendly staff. And the gifts on offer in the quite small gift shop uh, were appropriate to the location and not too expensive. And it's nice to see an honest tourist attraction that doesn't try and cash in on visitors. There are quite a few steps when uh, going around the site, especially if you want to do the tour um, or if you want to get down to the canal side. So you may want to bear that in mind. Other than that, if you're looking for a way to spend a relaxed few hours surrounded by beautiful countryside and steeped in engineering history, then we'd thoroughly recommend a visit. I hope you did find this video helpful and if you did then please show your appreciation by hitting that like button and if you'd like to see more videos like this then please consider subscribing and as always thanks for watching.